Hello. Yes, organising the white working class through municipal nationalism, part two. You've just watched a short video of the Vox Party. I think that means voice in Latin. They've just won 12 seats in a regional election, I think it was, uh, in Andalusia, the autonomous region of southern Spain. Vox have literally gone from zero to heroes, and that's through electoral victories, not chasing MPs in Spain, Andalusia, in, dressed in yellow vests or whatever, it, was it? No, through electoral victories. I noticed Nick Griffin never even commented on the uh, wins of the Vox Party in Andalusia, or even uh, Bolsonaro winning the presidency of Brazil. Them two uh, events were non-events, according to Griffin. Yeah, I hope not hate run. Yellow vests, uh, he posts them all the time. That seems newsworthy, bizarre, I despair. But talking of autonomous regions, let me put this to you. The white enclave surrounded by hostile neighbours where tens of thousands of our voters and supporters live, where we to start winning council seats back there again? Right, Burnley, Oldham, Blackburn and so on. Those areas would become de facto autonomous areas, right? That would be controlled by British nationalists, right? And as they grew bigger, which they would, right? Even uh, far beyond the white enclave, further beyond, they would become de facto autonomous regions. And the state would have a major challenge on its hands. It would be, it would be having kittens like it did in the early mid 2000s. It would be, in a real panic. But this time, this would be a serious threat. Just think to what I'm saying here. From de facto autonomous areas to de facto autonomous regions, that's the way forward. That's the way we organise the white working class through municipal nationalism. Okay, thank you.